Last week, NVIDIA reported what I consider to be a pretty darn good quarter. Since then, the stock's been seesawing. It seems like the market's a little confused. When you're dealing with a graphics maker, when you're dealing with a chip maker, when you're dealing with a very special semiconductor that's transforming video games, data center, autonomous driving, artificial intelligence, you got to give them the benefit of the doubt, for heaven's sake. Don't take it from me. Let's dig deeper with Jensen Wong. He's the visionary founder, president, and CEO of NVIDIA. Get a better read of the quarter and what he sees going. Jensen, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. It's great to be here. We're taking this live from, for you at Colorado from Denver, Colorado, Supercomputer 19. Well, Jensen, I've got to tell you, everyone was enthralled when we saw you at your headquarters, and people keep telling me, Jim, I understand you think it's the latest, the greatest GPU chip, but the one thing you don't do is you don't explain exactly in real time how valuable it is, what people do with it, and how mind-blowing it can be. So I said, I'm going to go see Jensen again, and he's going to tell us. You've got a great example of how mind-blowing what your technology is doing. Tell us about it. Well, we build computer technology that makes it possible for people to do things that otherwise is absolutely impossible. What you're looking at behind me is a Mars lander simulation with full fluid dynamics. You know, you know that we're going to go to Mars and by 2030 or so, mid-2030, and the Mars lander has to land in an atmosphere that's one one hundredth that of the Earth. So we simulated the entire, and so in, in order to land, it's got to land with booster rockets instead of parachutes. And what you're looking at behind me is a real-time visualization of the fluid dynamic simulation of the Mars lander going through the atmosphere, trying to stop from 12,000 miles per hour down to zero in about six minutes. And so this, this simulation behind me is approximately the same, about 25,000 movies being rendered at exactly the same time. So pretty exciting. <laughs> These are the kinds of things that I know you dream of that the rest of us can. And another thing you've made very clear is inference. You've got something that does 25,000 movies at once. You're doing inference. You're actually doing idiom. You've got machines that actually understand the way we speak. How is that possible? Well, you know, we're in the beginnings of the artificial intelligence revolution. What's really amazing is this. We now have computers that can learn by itself and write computer programs that no humans can write. And these gigantic programs, these gigantic programs are programmed essentially on a computer that we build that's standing right next to me. These programs have achieved some amazing breakthroughs. About 2012 or so, computer vision was achieved and we can now achieve superhuman levels of computer vision. As a result, self-driving cars, robotics, amazingly beautiful photographs you can take with phones. Now, we've created the ability for computers to understand natural language understanding, the code of human knowledge. And so this is a big, gigantic breakthrough. It's going to really change just by every industry we know. Now, in the last few t uh, months since we've seen you, you have taken the video game business by storm again, this time with an iteration that's very much like what you just said, like which is lifelike. Uh, which all the, the uh, companies that write programs are, are kind of just aghast. Uh, this thing dropped, and it seems to be, as Colette Crest said recently in a, a, your great CFO, in a speech, that it's just snowballing. And I know that Take-Two Interactive confirmed that to me just before it came out. It, this thing is just uh, the, became the industry standard overnight. Yeah, it took us, the, the algorithm for what is called ray tracing was invented some 35 years ago by one of our researchers. And it took until now for us to make it real time. Last year, we announced the NVIDIA RTX, a brand new way of doing computer graphics, where we're actually simulating light rays as it bounces around the room and affects by, affected by the different materials, reflecting and absorbed, and, and as a result, it looks photorealistic. This way of doing computer graphics is going to change the way we do computer graphics going forward. And we're so incredibly excited that, that it's just been a home run. Every game developer, every design studio, uh, design applications, creative applications have adopted NVIDIA RTX. And now we can see photorealistic rendering in real time coming to video games and, and of course, applications uh, all over the world. Now, one of the things that I, I find difficult, people say, Jim, uh, you like the stock of NVIDIA so much, and, and, and you like Jensen so much, and yet there they had a data center weakness, they had a little bit of glitch uh, when it came to crypt cryptocurrencies. 
Jensen, can you please explain to people why, if you think about the company over every day, it doesn't go anywhere, whereas two or three years from now, you've guys got stuff that nobody else has, and that's the way we should be thinking about NVIDIA. Yeah, you know, last year this time, we really enjoyed the perfect storm in our company. Our graphics business was affected, our data, data business, business was affected. As a result, we went into a slowdown a bit. While well, we came roaring back, and this last quarter we had a great quarter. Graphics business grew, gaming business grew, our notebook business grew, our data center business grew because of artificial intelligence. We're looking at now one of the most powerful technology forces of all time, what we all call artificial intelligence, where computers can learn and write software by itself. This implication is enormous. The ability to automate automation itself will have a tremendous impact in the computer industry, but all the industries that we know, whether it's self-driving cars, or automated retail, warehouses with logistics robots, manufacturing robots that makes things that we can't make and make things more cost effectively. Industry after industry, healthcare, financial services, will be really, effect, will be really revolutionized by artificial intelligence and made more productive. We're in the beginning innings of it, NVIDIA's processors is really the engine of artificial intelligence. And so I'm looking forward to years of expansion as we go from uh, what we call deep learning into the cloud, into all of these applications in the edge, intelligent edge, uh, up to autonomous vehicles and robots and service drones around the world. Well, one last question. I know that we uh, talk about the edge and how valuable it would be for you to be able to merge with Mellanox. You said on this, uh, on your most recent call, that you hope to get it done in the first quarter. NVIDIA with or without Mellanox, we're fine, right? I mean, because I, I don't want to tell people if this deal doesn't ever close, that therefore NVIDIA is going to be handicapped. It would be a great thing for it to close, but we can't pin our, uh, we, we, we really can't just, let's just say, uh, have hope that peace breaks out between China and us. It, are you concerned at all, or are we fine without Mellanox? Well, first of all, we're fine without Mellanox, and Mellanox is fine without NVIDIA. We got two great companies who are leaders in their space. One of the things that, 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 um, uh, that all of you should know is that the discussions are going fine and the regulatory discussions are going fine. And we expected it to be uh, closed by the end of the year. It looks like it's going to be about beginning of next year. It still might get done by the end of this year. And um, the thing that's really great is the combination of the two of us could innovate in the data center and create technologies otherwise it would be difficult doing separately. But two great companies that are world class in their fields and we're going to be fine separately. It's going to be amazing together. All right, terrific. Jensen, so great to see you as always. Congratulations on all of your success and the comeback has been so terrific. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much, Jim. Good to talk to you. Thank you to Jensen Baum, founder, president, and CEO of NVIDIA. The stock is taking off because the company's taking off. Multi-year move ahead.